so it's hard not to notice that recently a lot of journalists are talking about AMD undershipping supply into the market. And a lot of them are saying that this is price fixing. This is wrong. And in this video, I'll go through why. If you're interested in some good merch, then head to merch.techtechpotato.com. So every quarter, AMD, Intel, Nvidia, and all the other companies that are public announce financial results. And this quarter, and even last quarter, companies like AMD, Intel, and even Nvidia are talking about undershipping into the market. Now, a lot of people have taken this to mean that the companies aren't supplying enough of these units to distributors, to retail, and end up forcing the prices higher due to undersupply. Now, undershipping is not undersupply here. What undershipping is? Now, take the standard route from manufacturer to distributor, retailer to consumer. Imagine you're that distributor or that retailer. You typically sell 100 units a day and you keep 50 days of stock on hand just in case there's a massive spike in demand. As a result, you sell 100 units a day and you buy 100 units a day from the manufacturer. The sell through in that case is a full 100 units from start to end. Now imagine that demand of these CPUs here and demand has been going lower. If you've been listening to the calls, what used to be 360 million units in a year is now down to about 200, but should recover to about 260. When demand goes low, then the retailer or the distributor then underbuys in order to make sure their stock levels stays the same. So in that example, 100 units a day, 50 days of stock. If your demand suddenly goes from 100 units a day to 50 units a day, you suddenly have 100 days worth of stock. As a result, you buy less from the manufacturer. So you're selling 50 units a day, but you may only buy 10 units a day. So your stock slowly recovers to that 50 day level again. As a result, you're shipping half, but you're buying from the manufacturer 90% less. Instead of buying 100 units a day, you're only buying 10 units a day. So as a result, the manufacturer is said to be under shipping into the market. They're meeting the retailers, they're meeting the distributors at where they want their stock levels to be. So while they're still selling 50 units a day, the manufacturer is only selling 10 units a day in order to get that stock level back to 50 days down from 100. Now, as you might expect, when there's an increased demand, sales go up. However, what a lot of websites here have been saying is that by doing this, by doing this under shipping, AMD is artificially inflating the price of its parts, AMD, Intel, and Nvidia, artificially inflating the price of its parts in order to keep revenues high. Now, there is an ultimate mix of uh, revenue price, uh, the price of the unit, and the amount of units that you sell. In this case, however, it's not simply for profit. It's all about bringing those stock levels back. For a company to be artificially limiting the stock in order to increase the price, you'd have to be in a high demand cycle and shipping below what the distributor even wants to buy. In my example here, I'm saying the distributor, the retailer wants to only wants to buy 10 units. So they will only buy 10 units from the manufacturer. Now, every company, AMD, Intel, Nvidia, anyone, what they do is they work with their retailers and distributors and their OEM partners to find out what their demand will be like over the next few quarters and will manufacture that number appropriately. So as a result here, because we're going down into a lull, in the, in the numbers that are being sold into the market. And then slowly coming back up, we're seeing all the companies are under manufacturing to what they traditionally have been and then bringing it back up to what the expected level is gonna be by the end of the year. Here's AMD's financial call from this quarter talking about undershipping. Keep this definition of undershipping in mind as you listen to it. Um, we do believe uh, the first quarter is the bottom for our PC market, uh, for our PC business. Uh, and um, you know we'll see um, some growth in the second quarter, and then you know a seasonally higher second half. Um, in terms of the undershipment, I mean I think we're you know we're, we we um, undershipped in Q3, we undershipped in Q4, 
uh, we will undership to a lesser extent in Q1. So um, I think you can you know, infer that from our guidance of um, you know, single digit uh, down, and um, and then you know we'll we'll be back to a, a more normal environment. Now, just as a reminder, though, you know the first half is not usually a the first half is usually a seasonally weak client. Um, you know, time anyways, so uh, we would expect uh, more lift in the second half, um, not, not so much in the second quarter. So all in all, this has been quite a terrible news story cycle because basic definitions haven't been followed. Now, I've been following the financial numbers of most of the major companies for two or three years now. It's only recently that I've started actually writing about this stuff. And if you want to read some of that writing, head on over to more-more.com. That's my Substack newsletter. But I waited a couple of years until I learned a lot of these terms, and I'm still learning. I'm really surprised that no one in the generalized media bothered to reach out to any of the financial analysts or even the regular analysts about what this actually means. We're so used to company bad, price fixing bad. And yeah, price fixing is bad, but that's not happening in this case. All they're doing is undershipping due to the cratering of demand. I mean, going from 360 million units a year at the start of 2022, that was the estimate for 2022. Then by Q4, we're down to 200 million units a year. And by the end of 23, we're expected to be about 260 million units a year. So some slight recovery, but not the heady days of that late pandemic rush on, on hardware. We are in a lull and AMD, Intel, and Nvidia will say as much, saying that Q1, maybe even Q2 will be the bottom of the market, rising again in the second half of 23. They're all a bit reluctant right now to provide exact full year estimates in terms of revenue. Usually they kind of estimate one quarter out. But in this case, Q1 is seasonally low anyway. And the numbers are even lower than that. So if you're interested in some more of this you know, financial deep dive data, then there's going to be a few videos on the channel. There's a few posts on my Substack, And if you have questions, simply ask. That's the best thing we, we've got going here, right? There's no point applying an arbitrary definition to what is a very standard financial term. Um, but anyway, yeah, keep up the good fight and I'll see you in the next one.